Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Marcin Tybora versus Sergei Spivak. Marcin Tybora is 25 and 8, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, 3 and 1 in his last 4. Losing to Tom Aspinall a year ago, getting back on track against Taito Avasa, who everybody at this point is beating Taito Avasa. Plus 100 underdog, which I don't really understand to be honest. 38 years old, 6'3 with a 78 inch reach. Fighting Sergei Spivak, who's 16 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last five fights as well, 3 and 1 as well in his last four. Got absolutely mauled against Ciro Gan 11 months ago, which again, it's not surprising. He did absolutely nothing in that fight. Minus 120 favorite, 29 years old, 9 year age gap in this matchup. 6 3 with a 78 inch reach, same height, same reach. These guys have fought before as well. And Marcin Tiboro was able to get that. Uh, uh, that that matchup there it was a closer fight than the scorecards would write would read. Um, it, it, it's a it's a tough one because even though Sergey's fought Cyril Gan, he fought Derek Lewis, lost also to Tom Aspinall, um, beat Greg Hardy, which who cares? Beat Augusta Sakai, okay. Beat Derek Lewis by arm triangle, and then lost to Cyril Gan. Tybora fought lost to Volkov by decision. Uh, Romanov when Romanov was sixteen and zero. La beat Ivanov, which yikes, lost to Aspinall and uh, beat Tai to Avasa. I don't necessarily see a finish in this in this one. I don't think either guy has great striking. I, I would say the better grappler is Spivak. You know, he has 14 finishes out of 16 wins. Typically, they don't go to a decision, but he's gone three times, won two of them. He's also been finished three times in the UFC. He has five finishes in the UFC, which I think is a little bit underrated. Um, Marcin Tybora, 20, I said 25 and 8. He's 12 and 7 in the UFC. He has five finishes as well. He's been finished four times. If you look at the guys that's finished him, Tom Aspinall, uh, da, 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 Augusto Sakai, Shamil, whatever that name is, and Derek Lewis. Even Fabrizio Verdun beat him by decision. Didn't even finish him. Um, again, it, 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 is, it is a bit of a weird one because... I think Tybora has a better gas tank. I think Tybora is a bigger dude. Let's see, 247 to 256. It would say on paper that Spivak is, is the bigger, the heavier guy. But Tybora just looks so much bigger when he's on top. So, And I would think uh, Tybora is going to come in a little heavier than 247. Yeah, I think he has better footwork. I think he has better striking, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot. I think if Spivak can get, get him down against the cage... He can do some good good work. I'm actually going with Sergey Spivak because I believe if he can get Tybora down, especially against that cage, his ability to find mount and do really good work is is very good for a heavyweight. I don't think he really goes. Far. I don't think either one of these guys go far from here because I don't think he ever beats Gan. I don't think that he ever beat Tom Aspinall. He would get mauled by John Jones, probably even lose to Curtis Blades. Volkov, we've already seen Tybora lose to Volkov, so not great. Again, number eight, number nine, sucks to be a main event for sure, but I think Spivak splits it. They'll be one one. Probably, I don't want to see a third fight. Please, 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 please. But I think Polar Bear wins the matchup. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. See you at the next one. Peace.